Hello students, I am Dr. Tarumai Vishwash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. Today's topic of discussion is one MCQ in front of you. So I request you student please read the question carefully. Pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. And remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement. But don't worry, after some time you will get the right answer with proper explanation. I believe you have tried by yourself so it's my turn to give you the right answer. So as usual I request you student please look at two things properly. First what is the reagent and what is the reactant. Now if you look at this reagent, in this reagent 3 equivalent of PCC or pyridinium chlorochromate. So this PCC is actually a selective oxidant and here DCM is solvent and you can see room temperature 16 hour. So you can consider this is actually a milder reaction and generally we have observed that relatively less reactive reagents are more selective. Now let's look at the other side. In the other side there is this alcohol more specifically it is a tertiary alcohol and another thing is this is actually an alkene. So two reactive sites are there. Now question which will be oxidized because PCC as oxidizing agent it can oxidize either alcohol or uh, this double bond. So what will be the reaction now. So let's learn about the mechanism first. Now if you look at this thing this mechanism little carefully first this tertiary alcohol reacts with this pyridinium chlorochromate. See if you look at this chromium uh, atom it is actually in plus 6 oxidation state. So student please little careful about the oxidation state. So obviously it's electron deficient and it is attached to a chromium chlorine bond. So these two things are there. That's why the lone pair of oxygen will act, uh, attack this as nucleophile and you can consider this aromatic acyl nucleophilic substitution type reaction you can consider. So fine this Cl will leave and ultimately it will produce this product and this product subsequently will lose one proton and ultimately it will convert into this star and this you can consider chromium star okay so this will be produced it's a very easy student till now no oxidation reduction happened because till now the oxidation state on this chromium is plus 6 but if you look at the mechanism for for example this chromium reagent mediated oxidation of alcohol i have discussed previously that in order to oxidize alcohol this site should be proton but here in the example it is written methyl so if this proton could not be oxidized then it is very difficult to oxidize this alcohol actually i have already discussed that tertiary alcohol are relatively difficult to oxidize and it resulted in some fragmentation so it's difficult to oxidize but in this case this molecule has an another advantage because it is allylic alcohol i'm talking about this part okay so for that what happens there is an another type reaction possible okay so it is you may consider it's a pericyclic type reaction how it can come this lone pair it can come and ultimately it will go till now no oxidation reduction so this is actually you may consider rearrangement type reaction okay so in this way it will directly produce this one and by the way there is an another logical step also you can see somewhere that okay this chromium part will act as a good living group because obviously chromium is a high oxidation state so minus is stabilized and in this way allyl carbocation could be produced so this allyl carbocations you know are resonance stabilized means it can come here so this now in the next step this whatever leaving group for example in this case you can consider that this can attack to the this center so in this way also possible but this pericyclic reaction thing is a little more logical and you can check a similarity with babler oxidation type reaction now so this is actually a chromium ester fine now another important part student in the first step means this alcohol releases one proton and this chromium ester releases one chloride so by combination both produced 
HCl. It is in the reaction medium. There is obviously pyridinium, so it cannot abstract any more acid. So in the reaction medium, there is HCl. The reaction medium is considered slightly acidic, and there is one hydrogen. Now this part, if you look at, if you look at this part little closely, you can see that this is nothing but chromium ester of primary alcohol or allyl alcohol, whatever say. And since this hydrogen is there, so it could be oxidized further. And how this could be, for example, this proton abstraction, it will come and this will go to chromium center. And in this way, this is actually the reduction. Now, after that, you can see this aldehyde is produced, or more specifically, if I say this is actually alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl. Now, another thing, students, remember why the oxidation stops in the aldehyde stage? Why not over oxidation? First of all, in order to have the oxidation of aldehyde to corresponding acid you need water in the reaction medium. Why I am saying? Because water helps in gem diol formation. So this gem diol formation not possible because the reaction is carried out under anhydrous condition. So that is why reaction stops selectively in this aldehyde and here more specifically alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde. So this is the product. Now, if you look at the option, what is alpha beta unsaturated aldehyde? Obviously, this option B is the right answer. Okay. Now, if this question appear in your exam less than 30 seconds, how could you solve this? First of all, you need to understand that tertiary alcohol oxidation using pyridinium reagent is difficult. Is there any another way? Obviously, yes, because first when there is alcohol and this PCC, this ester formation is definitely chromium ester obvious no problem but there is after that one rearrangement possible and that will result ultimately a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl now if you go from back calculation point of view then you can see that okay reaction will happen so option d gone now this is actually an oxidation not elimination so this c not possible okay and another thing here carbon carbon bond breakage happening to get a which is far more difficult and in this condition also difficult why because it is room temperature 16 hours so not possible so that's why these also not possible so what is left option b so this is the right answer okay so in conclusion what you have learned today that pcc is selective oxidizing agent for alcohol for example primary alcohol to aldehyde and secondary alcohol to corresponding ketone respectively now Oxidation of tertiary alcohol is difficult and it results in CC cleavage and it requires relatively drastic condition because CC bond is less, less polar, less reactive. So if you want to do any chemical reaction on it, it is significantly difficult. Allylic alcohol rearrangement of hydroxyl group is possible because of this pericyclic reaction. Okay, or so it, you may consider this thing also 3, 3 sigma tropic shift. Now, alpha beta unsaturated carbon 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 double bond is difficult, relatively difficult to oxidation. Why? Because oxidation happens when or where there is more electron density. Now, if it is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl derivative then the electron deficiency electron density is relatively less because of this canonical form so you can see that okay this double bond is actually in resonance with the carbonyl so some electron density from the double bond or alkene were drifted to the carbonyl side so electron density is less on the alkene so it is oxidation is relatively more difficult by the way there is a dedicated lecture that is this alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl 2 corresponding epoxide formation using hydrogen peroxide and alkyl it's a unique concept please visit now let's come to the same next point this tertiary allylic alcohol oxidation results in other carbonyl by rearrangement okay so that is an another issue and the most last and foremost important point is allyl carbocation are resonance stabilized that's why they are produced easily they are actually stable so I believe this video may be useful. Please write your opinion in the comment box. And if you consider that my contents are worthy, then please help this channel to grow. And if possible, please visit my another channel where I upload global warming and climate change related videos. So thank you.